Hi people, hope you're good. So in today's video I'll be showing you some of my recent purchases from good old Primark. The majority of the items are basically pieces that I felt I was missing from the wardrobe. So yeah, let me jump straight in and show you what I got and you guys let me know what you think. So the first few tops I'm going to show you are literally basic t-shirt bodysuits. I love a bodysuit, they always fit the body really really well, especially since I have a small frame. So I got one in this blue colour, I got the same thing in the colour white because you can never have enough white tees and lastly I got it in a black colour. I have worn this one already quite a few times so it's not going to look as fresh as the white and the blue one. It definitely has been in the wash. Definitely has got a lot of fluff, but you know, let's not focus on that. So yeah, this is what it is in black. Um, goes with pretty much everything. And it's just like a nice piece just to throw on when you're doing your mundane tasks. When you're not trying to do too much, but you still want to be comfortable. So I got those three. And they were £5 each. I got them all in the size 2XL, which is a UK 4 to 6. The next item that I'm going to show you is a mini skirt. So this is what it looks like. Just a basic black leather mini skirt. It looks a little bit plasticky on camera because I have the lights here. But in real life, it doesn't look too bad. I didn't want to spend too much just because I wasn't sure whether or not it would suit me or whether or not I'd actually like it. So this was only £8 and I got it in a size 6 just to make sure that it actually fits my waist in a decent way and it's not too baggy. Now this is definitely something that I'm sure most people have in their wardrobe but believe it or not this is the first time that I have ever had a mini skirt in my wardrobe. I don't know what it is but I just don't find skirts very flattering on my frame. I am quite sure, I am very petite so if I try to fit myself into a midi skirt I don't know why I just feel like it makes me look even shorter and just swallows me and then when it comes to wearing mini skirts I just feel super exposed. I just, I just feel weird. I don't know. I guess it's probably because I'm not used to having my legs out. I'm always in a pair of jeans. I'm always pretty covered up. My friend actually suggested that I pick one up because I bought a blazer from Sheen probably a couple of months ago that seemed way too big for my frame. So she suggested that I picked up a mini skirt to sort of balance out the proportions. And I must say she was right, it definitely works. It is simple, you know, it's not doing the most, but it's still saying something and I think that is what my type of dress sense is. Anyway, let me move on to the next item. So the next basic item that I got, I probably should have included this in when I was talking about the um, t-shirts and stuff. This is what it is. It's basically just a little stretchy tee, a little crop tee and these little um, stretchy shorts, like biker shorts I would say, not really sure. Never owned a pair of biker shorts in my life. Again, whilst I'm not a skirt person, I'm definitely not really a shorts person either. To be honest, I actually bought them thinking, do you know what, since I'm gonna make more of an effort and maybe show my legs a little bit more, I've got myself a little skirt, let me get myself some shorts and see how I get on with those. Would I feel comfortable wearing it out? I probably would for like about two minutes and then when I'm actually down the road and I realise what I'm wearing or the moment I get that first glance, I think I probably want to go back to put something else on. So what I've decided is, is that it will probably just be something that I wear around the house or if I stay around a friend's house or go to visit my parents um, or whatever the case may be. Basically not to be wearing outside on the street. Um, as much as I do feel young, and somebody did tell me that I looked like I was 18 the other day, um, maybe it is a little bit too much for my age. Let me know what you think. I know that there's loads of people out there who are just like, look, age does not matter. Wear what you want to wear regardless. As long as it makes you feel good, wear what you want to wear. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. So the next items that I picked up are skinny jeans. And when I tell you, I have not worn skinny jeans for the longest, longest time, like literally years. All I do now is live in straight leg jeans, I love a flare, I love anything that's not too close to the body, but um, I was going through my clothes the other day and I realised that I do not have not one pair of skinny jeans. 
and um, as much as I don't draw for them that much I still feel like it should be a piece that you have in your wardrobe just in case so I got three the first one that I'll show you is in a jet black high-waisted of course these only have pockets at the back and not at the front which is a little bit annoying but it is what it is to be honest this material more so feels like a jegging more than an actual like normal denim but um, yeah they fit really well I've got them in a size 8 I have been a size 6 for many 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 years so I've gone up a little size yay me um, but yeah this is what they look like basic jet black definitely adding that to my wardrobe they do look cute on I you know can't complain at all the next pair that I got is in a you know classic denim shade these are really nice and super comfortable the only thing is is that with this pair I didn't realize that it was a length 32 so they are too long for me so I have to roll them up at the bottom which I would prefer not to do but it is what it is and the last pair of jeans that I picked up are in this washed black shade now these I have worn quite a lot I literally just took them off the drying rack in my living room so they do look a little bit crunchy a little bit crispy but they have been worn and I definitely enjoy them so far I've worn these washed black ones the most out of all of them I'm happy that I did pick up some skinny jeans because I do actually enjoy the way that they look on my body and it just gives me a little bit more versatility when it comes to my denim because as much as I do love a straight leg it's getting a bit boring now do you know what I mean I just want to switch it up a little bit so I've got some skinny jeans and I will definitely be drawing for those throughout this autumn winter period Oh, and whilst we're on the autumn winter period, I picked up these black boots. Um, to be honest, I got these black boots because my Dr. Martins, which I absolutely live in and have lived in for years, they're starting to show wear and tear, and I'm not ready to fork out over 100 quid to buy myself another pair of Dr. Martins. So I saw these and I thought, you know what, Primark, 20 quid, these will do. I'm really hoping that they last. I do like the style of them. It's just in, you know, like the classic Chelsea boot type of style. These have a fixed sole, which were pretty um, popular last winter. And I'm sure they will be again. Um, so yeah, they're comfortable. They're a size four, which is my size. They are true to size. And it does have a little bit of room that I can put on a pair of thick socks when it starts to get super cold. So next I'm gonna show you a couple of tops that I got. The first one is this neutral blouse. Um, to be fair I probably should hang this up so you can actually see what it looks like properly but I'm being a lazy cow and I can't be asked. So this is what it looks like. Just a long sleeve blouse, it's cropped, it has this sort of elasticated detail at the back and then at the front it has this little crisscross moment. This is a really poor example of what it looks like but you'll see it in the cutaway this was 13 pounds and i got it in a size 6. the shoulder area is quite tight but because i don't have a lot of boob at all if i went up to a size 8 it would just look ridiculous so i'm gonna have to put up with the fact that i can't move my arms that much but at least you know the little boobs ain't gonna be flapping around everywhere um so yeah I got the, got that, that is cute, definitely something that you can style up or style down. To be honest, I'm more likely to wear that if I was going out maybe for like a drink around a corner or just for like a little casual meal with the girls or something like that. So yeah, that is that. The next top that I decided to get is this little knitted cami. Now this is cute, um, I can't remember, have I got the label in it? So I got it in a 2XL which is a UK 4 to 6 again and this was £8 which isn't bad at all. Another piece which is a basic, you know, the colour will allow for me to wear it with quite a lot. It is in a knit material so hopefully that will give me a little bit of insulation once these London streets get super cold. Um, yeah, it feels like it's well made, um, it isn't that sort of scratchy material which really bugs me when it comes to certain knits. So yeah, not really much to say about this, just a nice basic that you can throw in your wardrobe and definitely pull it out when, you know, 
you want to add a little bit of zhuzh maybe so um that is that the next items that i'll be showing you are trousers trousers are definitely another item that i lack in my wardrobe so when I saw these, I definitely wanted to give them a try and see what they had to offer. So I got them in a black. They have a nice plain front. It's very, very seamless. They fall so nicely on my body. It doesn't feel like they're swamping me in any way, shape or form. And yeah, it's just seamless. When I've worn it with, when I have tried them on with other tops, yeah, it's seamless. It just all falls so nicely, skims the body, and it's just super, super flattering. So I really, really enjoy those. And if they had this style in other colours, I think I would probably go all out and pick them all up because these are definitely the best fitting trousers that I have ever worn, to be honest with you. I can't remember, have I left the label in to see how much they were? Yes, I have. So these were only £13 as well. And we all know that a nice pair of trousers can, you know, be a little bit pricey sometimes. I've got these in a size 6. The next pair of trousers that I've got are a pair of black leather trousers. Now I do have other leather trousers in my wardrobe, but they are but more so on the going out out sides. Like the style of it is not something that you would be able to wear on a casual day. So I saw these and the length of these are perfect for me not only can I wear them with a pair of heels but I can definitely wear them with a pair of trainers which that is what I needed in my life here they are again it probably will look a little bit plasticky because the bright light is shining directly on them but in real life they don't come across like a really cheap plastic and um, yeah they don't have any belt loops or anything like that so you definitely can't wear a belt with it but if you get your right size I don't think that you'll have to in this style, I did size down, I got a size 6. These were £17, which, you know, for Primark, some would argue that it's a little bit expensive. They have been a little bit pricey, or getting more pricey over the years. But to be honest, 17 quid for a pair of pleather trousers, I think is quite reasonable, whether or not it's from Primark, or whether or not it was from H&M, or somewhere else. So, I was happy to spend the £17 on them. But um, yeah, I really, really like them. I find them really comfortable, really flattering. So the next pair of trousers that I picked up are these nude trousers. They have an elasticated waist at the back. They have a couple of belt loops at the front. They actually do have buttons and a zip. It's not just an illusion. I did get these in a size six and they were also 13 pounds. The colour is really nice, very versatile, I can wear them in the autumn and I can also wear them in spring, summer next year, God's willing, God spare my life. Um, so yeah, again, really happy with those. Um, I look forward to experimenting and seeing what I would style them with, just because I'm not actually used to wearing trousers, as I said, I've never really had them before. And last but not least, these are a paper bag waist style pair of trousers the material feels really good quality it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like material that is going to go funny with a couple of washes and the one thing that i do like about these trousers that the other trousers didn't have is the fact that they actually do have belt loops at the front and the back so um yeah i like them so the next items that i picked up are outerwear so i got two blazers and i also got a coat which i love so i saw this in Primark and I really really liked it it has pockets the material feels good it feels thick it's a decent length it's not too long for me as I am quite short I like this button detail that it has on the sleeve I just really liked it it's lined really nicely on the inside and it was only 30 pounds definitely a piece that I will be gravitating to and wearing probably every day I need to not do that because once I get a coat that I like I literally rinse it out I'm gonna try my hardest to switch it up and not just wear this jacket out every single day but yeah I like it and it's got a little tie thing over here so you can you know cinch you in a little bit more if you need to and the final two items that I am going to show you are blazers so yeah I saw this blazer in Primark I definitely feel like this is a piece which is going to be um what's what i'm looking for 
like it's never going to go out of style and then the second blazer that i got is in this muted green shade it has um padded shoulders which is really nice the only thing is is that with this blazer it is pretty oversized so i had to get it in a size four um which would usually be way too small for me especially in a jacket but even in a size four this is really quite big i was debating whether or not i was actually going to keep it but i really really like this color and i like the um material the structure and um, just the quality of the blazer so I didn't want to return it and this will probably be another item that I need to play around a little bit with experiment with try different pieces with it to try and balance out the portions because at the moment I definitely do feel swamped in that piece but um, yeah I'm still not sending them back I think I'm still adjusting to wearing blazers I do love the whole blazer look I just need to adjust and try to figure out the best way that I can wear them that suits my style and it makes me feel good but um anyway I am waffling thank you very 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 much for watching I hope that you enjoyed the video I hope that you saw some items that you would pick up but yeah we'll definitely speak again soon please take care of yourself please be safe and I look forward to seeing you again God's willing Mwah. thank you again for watching take care